What did the Mayans know when they created their calendar? How did they have the foreknowledge to captivate the ancient civilization and modern civilizations as well? Or are we the ones left behind? Join us as we take a brief look at the most influential culture in Mesoamerica, the Mayans. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. It all begins with the Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar dates back to around the 21st century BC and may come from the Olmec civilization. It is proven 100% accurate. The calculations of Mayan priests were so specific that their calendar correction is 10,000th of a day more precise than the traditional calendar we use today. Of all the ancient calendar systems, the Mayan and other Mesoamerican systems are overly complicated and complex. They use 20-day months and two calendar years, the 260-day sacred round, or Soken, and the 365-day vague year, or Hob. These two calendars corresponded every 52 years. The 52-year period was called a bundle and meant the same to the Mayans as our century does to us. The sacred round of 260 days is composed of two smaller cycles, and the numbers 1 through 13 combined with 20 various day names. Each of the day names is characterized by a god who brings time through the sky, thus showing the passage of night and day. The day names are Emix, Ik, Akbal, Khan, Chikan, Simi, Manik, Lamat, Muluk, Ak, Chuen, Eb, Ben, Ix, Men, Sib, Kaban, Iznab, Kauak, and Aha. Some of these are animal gods, such as Tuen, the dog, and Aha, the eagle. And archaeologists have indicated that the Mayan series of animals could be paired in a similar sequence to the lunar zodiacs of many East and Southeast Asian civilizations. In the 260-day Soken, time does not go along a line, but goes in a recurring circle like a spiral. The two cycles of 13 and 20 intertwine and are repeated without disruption. Hence, the calendar would start with one Emex, two Ik, three Akbal, and so on to 13. Then after which the cycle resumes with one Ix, two men, etc. And the last day in this 260-day cycle will be 13 Ahau. Nobody knows how the specific unusual Mayan calendar came into being. The 260-day cycles may bind numerous celestial events altogether, even the passage of Mars and Venus as well as eclipse times. The 260-day calendars were applied to define significant events related to the gods and humans. It was used to name people, foresee the future, determine auspicious dates for wars, matrimonies, etc. Every day had its prophecies and associations. And the relentless march of the 20 days was like an eternal fortune-telling machine, directing the destinies of the Mayans. The vague year, or hob, of 365 days is like our current calendar, comprising the 18 months of 20 days each, with an unfortunate five-day period in the end. The secular calendar of 365 days had to do mainly with the seasons and agriculture, and was based on the solar cycle. The Mayan solar new year is believed to have begun sometime in our present-day month of July, with the Mayan month of Pop. The Sokans connecting and the hob resulted in a long cycle of 18,980 days or about 52 solar years. The end of this 52-year cycle was mainly feared because it was thought to be a period when the world might come to an end, and the sky might fall if the gods were not pleased. One of the calendar's most vital roles was not to fix dates precisely in time, but to compare Mayan leaders' activities to historical and mythological events. The acts of gods played in the days of myth were recreated by Mayan rulers, often on the anniversary of the unique event. These dates would be calculated by Mayan priests, the calendar was also used to observe the time of past and future events. Some Mayan monuments, for example, record the dates of events 90 million years ago, while others calculate incidents that will take place 3,000 years into the future. The calendar also foresaw the future, as our astrological zodiac does. For example, the Mayan thought a person's birthday or day sign defined their destiny through life. The newborn child was thus linked with a particular god and remained under that god's influence, some gods are more optimistic than others. And a child born under a well-wishing god was believed fortunate. A child born under a less kind god had to make sure throughout his or her life that the god was appeased, especially during susceptible periods like the unfortunate Yeb of the solar year. Many scholars have questioned why the Mayan calendar was so complex. It was because Mayan priests made all the choices about dates for sacred events and the agricultural cycle. 
The average person did not have to understand the calendar, and it could be as detailed as the priests wanted. The ancient Mayan cycle still endures in southern Mexico and the Mayan highlands, under the supervision of calendar priests who keep the 260-day count for prophecy and other shamanistic events. The Mayans created pure sciences that were developed outside the Western world's achievements for thousands of years. They did not have an empire. Their politics consisted of 50 independent city-states. The city-states exchanged goods and ideas with each other. They were the most excellent agronomists globally, excelled in developing technologies that were unsurpassed for more than a thousand years. The Mayans invented a method for producing cement in 300 BC, and so much more. Just as some of today's depictions of ancient Mayan culture can concentrate too closely on the negative, like Apocalypto, others might be interested in overreacting and making super enthusiastic declarations for their excellence. Much depends on who you ask. But were they ahead of their time? Or are we the ones behind? Cultures and technology do not advance along a linear path. All peoples are products of their time and agents within their time. The end of the Mayan calendar is not an event to worry about, but like any new beginning, is to be welcomed and commemorated as a chance to move ahead. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and push that notification bell for more videos like this.